Hey guys, Mr. Snowman here, back again with another video. Uh, today I've updated my uh, cheat finally. I finally uh, gotten enough courage to update it, do do a little bit of this and there. So first off, you need to go to my website. I'll have it linked in the description. Here, I'll put it up right here. This is the website. I'm still updating it. It's a little bit bland. So you click download. It'll ask you to download. You click save file. Uh, click this folder. And you can, I normally just drag it to my uh, desktop right here. I close it. Click extract here. Well, unless if you have a if you don't have WinRAR, then uh, just click on it. But uh, since I have WinRAR, uh, click extract here. I'll just do yes to all because I already have the folder down. Um, this will show up. The with this folder, if you try and open it, it won't let you. Because you need to go to your Windows Defender, then you need to go to Virus and Threat Protection. After that, go to Manage Settings, scroll down, click Add or Remove an Exclusion. So you click Add Exclusion Folder, and then click on Snails v 1.5.0. It will be updated in the future. Um, I have it where it checks the version of it now, so it'll send you to the website if you're not on the updated version. Eventually, I'm gonna make it auto update. That's eventually. Then, since you have like, if you have scripts and stuff, I I'm gonna have to put this on the website. The script uh, may be up there, maybe not when you get to it. Uh, I'll drag this. You drag scripts into this folder right here called scripts, so you can put it. Uh, it'll. I'll show you. So when you open it, it'll show up this loading menu because it's checking what version you're on. And then once it loads up, all right, it'll load up. Options aren't there yet. It may or may not be there depending if you're on if you're at the video late or not. So there's options which aren't there yet. Everything's basically same, but if you click refresh, it'll show up the snail hub. You can click on it. It'll load in the script automatically. That's what the scripts folder are is for. Uh for this it, it just helps a lot then the other update that I did is that I make it go over everything so say if I join a Roblox game all right since now I'm in the Roblox game you want to uh, load up your script or paste in your script or whatever then click inject it'll take you to this website just close it out then uh, it'll say easy exploits so once you have that put in your script of course click execute since this is my own script uh, I've had it out for a while now but um, see you get fly no clip which I can go over here no clip uh, B tools of course works in most games uh, I just died because of some guy just shot me speed uh, you click shift whenever you want to stop. In some games, like this game, if you click shift, then it'll stop. Invisible works in this game. Some, A lot of games it doesn't, but in this game it does. Crazy character just makes your character look crazy. Respawn just kills you. It takes a second, though. Um, chat troll just keeps, uh, the, keeps saying snails are epic. And the good thing about this one is that if you type in a person's name like... Uh, let's do U R R N one seven teleport. So yeah, it teleports to them. So you can just spam teleport. It works with some games, works with not. So just be careful. All right, there we go. That's my cheat so far. It's pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I'm doing more updates. It'll auto update for you. Uh, well, you have to download it. It'll go send you to the website whenever there's an update. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's my cheat. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Uh, the cheat's progressively getting better. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.